afternoon children i hope all are fine yes in today's science class we were learning lesson number nine isn't it yes what is the topic of the lesson the topic of the lesson is the animals that have bones yes isn't it yes we have completed learning about the fishes and the frogs isn't it yes Today we are going to learn about the uh, lizards, turtles, snakes and crocodiles. Okay, lizards, snakes, turtles and crocodiles. Lizards, turtles, snakes and crocodiles are cousins. Lizards, turtles, snakes and crocodiles are cousins. They all have scales on their body and they lay eggs on land. Okay. They lay eggs on land. Where does it lay? It lays eggs on land. Lizards are of many kinds. Lizards you would have seen in that your house, isn't it? Yes. Lizards of many kinds. The smaller ones eat insects. The larger one eats frogs, mice, birds and so on. Okay. These are the food, food of lizards. And odd lizards can shed their tail when an enemy catches them. When an enemy catches a lizard, what will the lizards do? The lizards will shed their tails, okay? And the tails grows back again, okay? It's a plus point of lizards is the tails will grow again and again when it is, uh, uh, the, when the tail is cut off, okay? All lizards shed their tails when an enemy catches them and the tail grows back again. Tortoise and lizards, tortoise and turtles are covered with a hard shell. Tortoise and uh, turtles are covered with a hard shell, isn't it? Yes, you would have seen in a picture, isn't it? Yes, tortoise are covered with, these are the shells covered. These shells, you can see it in your picture, it's very hard, isn't it? Yes, some tortoises live on land and some live on ponds and rivers. Turtles can live both on land and as well as in water. Okay. Turtles lives in the sea. Tortoises and turtles can be plant eaters or flesh eaters. It can be both flesh eaters as well as the plant eaters. It and also can live on land as well as on uh, water. Okay. Yes. Next, we move on to to the snakes. Let's move on to snakes. Some snakes live. You'd like to have look at the snakes? No, yes, it's very terrific, isn't it? It would be very frightening, yes? Yes, it's not very pleasant to see a snake. Some snake lives on land and some lives in water. Some lives in land and some lives in water. Okay? Yes, different types of snakes are there. Some are poisonous, some are non-poisonous. And some lives on land and some lives on water. Okay? They eat, what is the food? type they eat all kinds of animals like insects frogs fish mice and birds okay what is the food of the snake insects they eat insects frogs fish mice and birds and some of them kill with their poisonous bite if they bite with a sting it, it would be very poisonous okay yes and some crush their food by wrapping themselves around it some will just crush their food. Wrapping means that the bone. Uh, if for example, if he, if if a snake catches a, a animal like a monkey, for example, what will do? It just uh, crush them, crush it, crush the monkey by just it wraps over the monkey and it squeezes. Then it will be dead. Okay. Okay, and some crush their food by wrapping themselves around it. And they all swallow without chewing. This is the main point. Snakes do not, do not chew their food. Okay, they just simply catch and swallow their food. Okay, swallow without chewing. They all swallow without chewing. Crocodiles eat fish, birds and other animals they spend a lot of their time in water okay mostly all the crocodiles will be in the water okay it will lay the eggs on land but it will spend lots uh, uh, most of the time inside the water 
okay yes next we move on to bats 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 you would like to see uh, different types of bats isn't it yes it would be very pleasant to the eyes to see different types of bird, colorful birds, love birds, parrots, pink queen, yes? Yes. In general, you are going to learn about the birds, okay? The body of a bird is covered with feathers. Isn't it? You would have seen lots of others. These are the feathers, okay? The feathers close to the skin keep a bird warm. What does the, uh, keep, uh, what is, uh, what is the thing which keep the birds warm? The feathers, okay? The bird's body is covered with feathers and these feathers helps the uh, birds to keep uh, keep the bird warm, okay? The feathers on the tails and wings helps to fly. The feathers on the tail and wings helps to fly. And birds use their wings to fly, okay? Without wings, it cannot fly, isn't it? Yes, they have very light bones, Okay? which makes it easier for them to fly okay if the birds are heavy how it cannot it would be difficult for the birds to fly isn't it yes so uh, in general in nature all the birds will have very light bones okay it will be very e useful and it will be easy for the birds to fly okay it is easier to them to fly a few birds like ostriches and penguins cannot fly these ostriches and penguins will not fly okay in general what is the type of birds in general the body of the bird are covered is covered with feathers and these feathers are very close to the skin why because it will the feathers keeps the bird warm okay and the feathers on the tail and wings helps to fly and birds use their wings to fly this is, uh, uh, they have very little very light bones why the bones are very light because to fly which make it easier to them to fly so that it will be very easy for them to fly if the bones are very heavy and uh, thick it cannot be it will be difficult for the uh, yeah. birds to fly so that in nature all the birds will have their very light bones okay next move on to next page page number 52 See, grain pig, grain eating pigeon, insect eating bird, that is the bee eater, and the flesh eating bird, what is the eagle? Okay, yes. Some birds eat fruits and seeds. Some birds eat fruits and seeds. Some eat fish. Different types of birds will eat different types of food. Okay, and some hunt animals like mice and snakes. And some eat worms, insects, and some drink the juice of the flowers. Now we move on to the, uh, we'll see about the beaks of different types of birds, okay? The shape of a bird's beak depends on the kind of food it eats, okay? The main thing, the beak depends upon the food it eats, okay? Eagles and hawks have a sharp curved beaks to tear flushes, okay? For example, eagles. Eagles will eat flushes, isn't it? Animals. They kill their animals and eat. So, eagles have a very sharp beaks and curved beaks. Why? Because to tear the flesh of the another animal. That's why it's having the hawks. Um, eagles and hawks have a very sharp beaks. And woodpeckers and other insect eaters have a long beaks. So that it can helps the helps the to get the food. Okay, woodpeckers and other insect eaters, insect eaters have very long and sharp pointed beaks. And then grain eaters, grain eaters like sparrows have very short and strong beaks. And ducks and geese have a flattish bill. You can look at the bills of the ducks. You can look at, it will be very flat. Okay, why it is flat? Because it's the food, uh, the ducks and geese will eat it's from the ground okay so that it can help uh, the beaks will help to search the food look the food for in the mud so the bills uh, the bills are very flattish flattish bills too um, to help the uh, to look for the food in the mud 
Okay, ducks and geese have a flattish bills, which help them to look for food in the mud. And birds have different kinds of feet also. Different kinds of animals. Small. Some will have tiny. Some will will be thick. And some will, woods ducks will be having the webbed feet. You can look at the picture. Webbed feet, isn't it? Yes. Different birds have different kinds of feet too. Hunting hunters have strong claws, nails called talons. Hunters have strong claws. They are called as talon. T a l o n s talons. And they use them to hold the animal when they hunted. Hunter when they are hunters, for example, owl or eagle. They have a very um, strong claws, and strong nails. Okay, which are called as talons, and they use them to hold the animals. And most birds have thin, strong toes with which they can hold on to branches. Thin toes. You can look at the picture also. Thin toes. Thin. Look at this. There's a thin, strong toes. But what is? It's thin, but it have a very strong, which can hold the branches or the, which can hold on to anything. Okay. Ducks and other swimmers have webbed feet. Ducks and other swimmers have webbed feet. Next, we want to the animals that give birth to babies. Okay. Next topic we are going to see is about the animals that we go give birth to babies. We and most of our pets belong to this group of animals. Yes, as a human beings, they give birth to young ones, isn't it? Yes, most of our pets, like dogs, cats, and also, belongs to this ba uh, group. What is that? They give birth to babies. Okay. What is special? What is special about this group is that the baby feeds on the mother's milk. This is the main important animals that give birth to babies is that babies feeds on mother's milk. In most of these animals, the baby grow inside the mother's body. It uh, it looks like a copy of its parents. Okay, for example, cow. You can look at the when it is uh, cough comes out from the cow. It looks like the cow itself, the same. Okay, it looks like a copy of its Xerox copy of its parents when it is born. In some, like kangaroos and koalas, the babies are not fully formed when they are born. For example, kangaroos have their babies in their pouch, isn't it? Yes, it carries their babies in their pouch. You can look. You would have seen in the um, history channel. Kangaroos have their small kangaroos in their pouch, isn't it? Why? Because they are not fully formed, so that they keep it inside them, them in their pouch itself. So carry mother carries them in the pouch. And the animals of this group have their hair, hair on their body. Some like polar bears have very thick fur. The animals of this group, that is the which give birth to babies animals which give birth to babies have hair on their body and some some like polar bears have very thick fur and porcupines and hedgehogs have very stiff hair called quills these are called quills okay these are this is a picture of a porcupine this have you can look at the picture see having very thick hair okay and stiff hair stiff hair it's, you can look at the hair of this porcupine very stiff and this hair is called as quills q u i l l s quills okay and the um, the horn of the rhinoceros too by the way is made up of hair the hair of the um, the rhinoceros horn horn is also made up of hair okay and most of these animals live on land and have four limbs most of the land, which uh, most of the animals which lives on land or have four limbs, and some like bats and monkeys live on trees. Okay. And whales, dolphins, seals, walruses, and few others live on water and do not have. Um, have you ever seen the walruses? Walrus, yes, it would be there in the um, uh, Discovery Channel. Would have seen. We have lots and picture of uh, videos of. Walruses, okay, these lives on uh, water and they do not have limbs, okay, and they have flippers to swim. Flippers, flippers, you can look at the picture. This is the flippers, this is the locomotory organ of the, I mean, with the help of the flippers, they swim in the uh, seals and walruses. They do not have limbs, okay, and they have only uh, flippers, F L I P P E R S. This helps, for example, 
wings and the scale which have uh, fishes with the help of the wings with the help of the wings it swims isn't it yes like that the uh, seals and the walrus is, uh, um, has flippers to swim in the water okay it helps to swim in the water okay that's it for today children okay i hope you have understood this lesson this is a very interesting lesson to learn also okay okay just go through the lessons and uh, learn the um and for homework learn all the uh, book exercises okay thank you children